YouTube, hopefully you can hear me. I'm still trying to get to the bottom of my microphone issues, so hopefully I don't sound like Darth Vader today. I'm just off to see my good friend Paul Bibby at his shop uh, to pick up one of those paracord bracelets because I bought a load of paracord and decided to make one. And I found the instructions online that were quite useful, however they didn't tell you what length of paracord to start with. <laughs> and since I've got a massive bale of it and I don't want to try and end up with like weird lengths left over, I've decided that if I buy one and then pull it apart, then I'll have a starting point. So that's my oh, indicators on, that's my plan for today. Uh, big shout out to the Scarlet Pimpernel, Di Jones, love you man, love your, love your vlogs, um, for the American contingent, um, it might be amusing to put on one of his vlogs and then switch on the uh, YouTube automatic translator because I think it, I, I must try that myself, in fact, fuck off, must try that myself. Because uh, I can imagine I'll have an absolute fucking conniption over his accent. Uh, I understand it, but I've spent I spent some time in Wales myself, and actually used to be uh, a chairman of a Welsh a motorcycle club, a side patch club. So uh, I'm used to the uh, he's from I believe uh, Lanethley, which isn't that far from Swansea. It's about. I think about 20 miles, um, no doubt Di will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's not far from Swansea, which is where my club was based, so... Uh, I'm kind of used to the way they speak. Um, what new, what new? The, oh, I'm being stalked by a religious nutter. Um, He's been leaving comments on my uh, YouTube channels of I'm a liar and I'm a blasphemer and I'm going to hell apparently. Uh, all I did was put forward an opinion. So, as I, I don't think I can be a liar stating an opinion. Um, but yeah, he's, I really seem to have got his pants in a bunch. Uh, yeah, very strange individual. Um, Look, if you believe, you believe. I'm not knocking religion. If, if you believe, then you believe. But uh, I'm more of the opinion that if you do believe, then maybe you should keep that to yourself. Um, because someone's Sky Fairy is always going to be better. What? Not quite sure what that was about. Um, but yeah, someone's deity is always going to be better than someone else's, which I don't think is in the in the true sense of religion. Then believe what you want to believe in, but don't knock others for their beliefs. I, I personally don't believe in any of it. But at the same time, I don't have an atheist agenda. I'm not pushing my atheism on anyone else. It's my belief and that's that. If you believe, you believe. If you don't, you don't. However, this cretin likes to threaten people with damnation and hellfire because I don't believe in the one true living God. And then he starts sprouting all this stuff about a pasta of his that apparently got taken to heaven and hell and was shown the truth of it all. Nah, I bet he's got a nice big fucking house. Um, and I'm just like, okay. Now, I don't know about you, I'm, 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 I'm a bit world weary and cynical. And I hear the words a pastor says, especially this pastor, his name's Pastor Kim. And he's based in Korea. And um, it's quite funny actually, because if you can go on his website, and it starts with a, a downloadable book. I've been talking about religion. But it starts with the THX, music. <laughs> the, you know when you go and see a Spielberg movie and you get that, the, the THS bore noise at the start? It starts with that. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is, is, is a copyright infringement. And I'm just thinking it would kind of be humorous to uh, report it as such. 
and see if his one true living god is uh, that happy. Um, right, well, I'm here. Uh, I'll probably do some filming in the shop in a minute. Bye for now. Hello again. Ah, uh, unfortunately he was just going out, so uh, I'll have to do that another time. It's a, a airsoft business, Swindon Airsoft. So if you ever need your air softened, <laughs> pop by and see Mr. Bibby. Oh, that fucking sun, I must do my visor. Uh, right, this, apparently, uh, as P817 would say, oh, there's been drama. Uh, there was a police chase this morning, and we've had uh, a couple of local police officers injured. And a couple of cars forced off the road, so uh, yeah, it's all go here. Come on, come on, come on. Well, this looks like a complete clusterfuck. Welcome to Swindon. Don't fucking drive. Literally, this is no word of a lie. They have about half of the town centre dug up at the moment. And uh, like uh, yesterday, there was two crushes. And no one could get in or out of Swindon. That was it. The whole place was gridlocked. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I don't really want to risk it, because uh, on this angle I can't see what's coming. And I think I'd be asking for trouble if I shot round. Yeah. Oh, well done. I take it there must be some temporary lights up there or something because absolutely nothing here is moving. You can see better than I can, is there lights up there? I said you can see better than me, is there lights up there? Temporary lights. Thank you! <laughs> ah, right! It's just a bit dodgy going up the outside. Normally I would, but uh, I 
there's a turning here which leads back on and it would be so easy for a car to get pissed off with waiting in this and just suddenly right swing a right through there to cut back and it, it wouldn't see me coming so yeah <laughs> Come on! I thought he was a ground worker, that's why I let him through, I thought he was one of this lot, but no. Thank you! And <laughs> no registration number either. Fucking joggers. Ooh. Now this was where the police chase was earlier. And where the car oh it's still all here, look. There you go, we got drama, we got drama. <laughs> there you go. Whoops, I said there you go again. But that's the aftermath of the police chase this morning. Yeah, they fucking Fucking idiot! Yeah, they wanted him stopped. I'm fucking asshole! <laughs> what there? How bad is it? It's, it you'll, you'll be alright, just go round. It's the police have rammed the car. There's all kind of carnage around there. Fuck me sideways. Ah, oh, you go through a red light and we're all stuck behind you. Thanks, mate. Oh, fuck this. Still got that fucking head cold. <clears throat> well, the other reason for coming out today, I thought I might want to evict some boogers. Nothing gets a nose flowing like a, a, a crisp bike ride on a nice cool day. Snot for fucking miles. You fucking moron. <laughs> Oh, 
off you cunt where I'll pick up one of those paracord things. I, I really don't know. There's a guy on John Street, but he's a bit weird. Um, uh, I don't think Rod and Gun will do it, but uh, in the face of adversity, no harm in looking. What's this one doing? You think he fucking knows? Why you I'm fucking laying you in your son of a bitch? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going the long way. It will probably be fucking quicker. It's in there somewhere. Now, these were all put there yet again. Another chain of pubs that are no longer. Uh, hello, chain of pubs that are no longer pubs. Pull in. You should have stopped, your side of the road's blocked. What do you want me to do? I've got fucking cars on the left. Do you want me to bang into them? Well, maybe pay attention. Well, over there. What? Have a look on YouTube, mate. Oh, get your edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking cunt. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. See the way he was frothing at the mouth. He was in the wrong. You know, if I'm in the wrong, then I'll say, I'm sorry, mate. You know, that's all it takes to disarm me. But it's again, they're in the wrong, and at the bullshit, you, you see the aggression on that guy? Where did that come from? I mean, yeah, admittedly, I could have pulled to the side. But why should I? I am a vehicle. Now the fact that I can physically fit through a smaller gap doesn't mean that I'm going to thread myself through every available gap to make a prick like that. They a bit easier. You know, there was no even, oh sorry. That's all it would have taken for me to have like chilled the fuck out there. But no, and he fucking spat on me. He was that fucking angry. That you're in the wrong lane, love. Maybe be in the right lane. People will know what the fuck you're doing. Oh, nice lane change. Thanks for the indication. I'll fucking guess what you're fucking doing. You fucking miserable blonde cunt.
na 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 Before we turn the camera off Oh, it's out somewhere, come on uh, Get the keys stuck underneath Well, there we go RJ, lead pin, fake rex direct, super B EM187 Pinky Doodly, Kylie, Tank Girl Got a few more coming and they will hopefully be here soon. Oh, got some road rage for my channel. All right, see you in a bit. Gorse Hill, army surplus shop, I think. I say, hopefully this microphone's working, I've no idea. Some of the older parts here. I mean, that building's been derelict since, I, since I've known. Alright, quickest way to go still from here. Cut down by Queen's Park, I think. Get out of the way, because that car's gonna fucking have to come round, that fucking idiot. Holy rude. This is the church where my uh, my mum and my stepdad had their wedding photos taken outside. I don't think they got married in there. I'm pretty sure it was a registry office job. Um, but I know they got the photos taken there. Very cool old church. Seems to be made out of a lot of flint. So it kind of has quite a unique look to it. Oh, there's a lot of fucking old Bill around today. Something stirred them up. You don't normally see them. Like, never. Never see them. So, something's gone on. Apart from that crash this morning, I think that's like there's follow-ups going on. Maybe. That, that would be a guess on my part. Red light. Oh, damn it. The football ground? There? Personally, I think I'd get more enjoyment watching paint dry. If you can enjoy football, fair enough. I didn't mind playing it. I used to play it at school, but oh, fucking hell. That's just standing there freezing your fucking ass off watching it. Fuck that. Come on. Again, the magic roundabout. Again, people who can't fucking indicate. And no idea where the fuck you're going. Come on, come on. But there you go. Football ground. <laughs> Entrance to said football ground. entitled prick and personally doesn't believe yeah he's not waiting look at him fucking bell end what you can cut back in at the end oh he has gone that way well fucking done I like 
like that. <laughs> that was fucking splendid. I like this helmet as well, it looked like a bug. Not often you see people wearing crash helmets on those things. I know they don't have to, but I mean the fucking things roll over at the, the slightest provocation. And it does make me wince when I see people not wearing crash helmets on those things. And fucking brick in the middle of the road. Uh, here we go, under the railway lines. Now up here, this is Colborne Street on the light. And before they built the evil mecca that indicators on love, uh, there is Tesco's up there. It used to be a cigarette, a tobacco factory called Willis. And uh, my uncles, when they were kids, used to go through the dustbins and pick up all the loose tobacco that they used, they used to get swept up and dumped in skips, along with all the swarf bits of paper, fucking dirt. Uh, and my uncles would just scrape that shit up and I think they used to sell it at school. <laughs> um, if you knew my uncles, that makes perfect fucking sense, frankly. Not once to miss an opportunity. Um, you're not turning left when you're going straight over, are you? Alright, army surplus store. It's a bit further up, I think. Um, I think it, yeah, it's up here. Oh, there it is. Question of whether it's open or not. And whether I can park. Parking's always a bit tight here in Gorsell. That's what I'm after. One of them. Uh, one of the two fifty. Uh. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> it takes so long to get this lot off. I thought oh, that's all right. I got the ferry lid on, so. I thought it would be what normally uh, the young lad, he knows me, so. Uh, <laughs> oh. Make the most of the sunshine. Yeah, I know. Um, if this thing's supposed to rain tomorrow. Uh, Alright. It might not. Uh, uh, you want me to cut these? Uh, no, it's fine. No, it's there somewhere. There it is. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. Ow. Look how fat I am. Podgy cunt. No, it's all padding, I'll be honest. I've got 12 jumpers on under. 
அந்த அம்மா இப்படிதாப்பா I know it's mine, but I mean, come on. Sometimes you just have to stand back and admire beauty. to do next I think that's everything fuel's a bit low oh, I did want to run the fuel down though because I want to take the tank off I've got some funky green LED lights to fit yeah I know sad bastard but she's so pretty pretty girls need their trinkets You fucking brain dead cunt. Run him fucking over. Uh, oh, that's bad. I got some fucking air moving. It's very warm. I've got me brace for that, now all I've got to do is <coughs> pull it apart and find out the sort of starting length of the paracord. So that'll be, that'll be quite interesting. I know they hold more than you would think possible. Fucking mirror. I'm going to fucking stay put, that fucker, I tell you. Me. Who said the road's blocked? Not fucking mine, is it? Go any fucking slower! Don't turn fucking... Oh my fucking god! You shouldn't be on the fucking road, you shouldn't.
which road is it? run this tank down a little bit more uh, right turn yeah that's right right turn only of course it is yeah that's fine see what can I talk about next oh subscribers yes my subscribers they suddenly jumped up to uh, as, as of this morning 48 which frankly I, I'm amazed I'm amazed there's 48 of you out there that like can even listen to my droning fucking West Country fucking babble um, no I'm, I'm made up I, I literally could not be happier uh, I've, I've put in a load more friends requests with the motor vloggers. Um, there's a motor vlogger page which showed um, locations, and it still looks like, it, as far as it goes in the southwest of England, there's only three of us. Uh, one's in North Devon, and I think the other one might even be actually down on the coast. So it looks like I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much the only fucker in Wiltshire. Which is pretty amazing. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I haven't found any. I'd love to. Uh, because people keep arranging meetups and it's fucking miles. And it's all weird building here. Uh, this one here. This is called a boundary house. Uh, years ago, that would actually denote the edge, the, the you know, the boundary of the parish. Um, so obviously, that, that was the end of the houses at one point. But Swindon has been one of the fastest expanding towns in Europe for at least 30 years. And I mean, the speed at which it grows. Um, a lot of these churches you'll see, they, they look old, but they're actually red brick. Uh, they were built by the railways. Um, all the railway workers actually came together and built them. So uh, again, kind of interesting. Oh, come on. allotments now I'm just about to come up to um, one of the still, it still goes but it, um, one of the last few remaining independent kind of breweries in Swindon well in the West Country and it's been on the same site for uh, I mean at least a hundred years I mean look at that oh there's a bloke up there look at that chimney up there look. and I remember when we used to have biker parties back in the late 80s we used to rock up to this place and I think I think it was like 72 pounds for a keg of beer um, which held about 60 pints and um, yeah you'd give them 72 quid and when you brought the barrel back you'd get like 40 quid back 
So you were paying like 30 quid for uh, enough beer for a house full of ravenous bikers to go through. Um, but the, yeah, there it is. Can't hear me. Ah, that's mental. I'm just kind of bimbling now, I really should go home, but I'm kind of giving the bike a good run. It kind of needs it. Uh, oh, we could, I know, we could go up to, uh, uh, what day is it? It's Thursday today. Uh, not, not many places to go. bike's getting hot which is actually what the plan was I wanted it to get up to kind of some kind of fucking temperature again look at these old cottages here look very old very old part of town I mean this would have been I, I suppose at some point a, a standalone hamlet not actually part of Swindon until the, the sprawl eventually caught it. Well, a lot of new houses on this side, but the... You know those kind of Barrett fucking twee shit that all look the same? Yuck. Uh, I think I will pull in here and do a quick... Actually, no, I'll, I'll go up onto the 419, got it up on the dual carriageway that'll be fun no we're not my bum there we go Behind the back there, you can just see the old Motorola factory. It, it was famous in this town because it was used as the in, it was used as a set for a Bond film, uh, and in typical Swindon style, it was actually the whole segment was cut from the film. Um, and it, yeah, it's still going. Oh, as used in James Bond. But if you watch James Bond, there's about three hundredths of a second where it's visible. Um, that's it, uh, there you go, claim to fame. <laughs> oh, I'm at the front of the queue of traffic, I don't like being here. This is where, this is where disasters happen. And now I've got a, uh, I'm like a fucking comedian now. I've got one eye on the lights and one eye on my fucking mirror looking out for bell ends. Come on, change. That's it. Uh, I don't like being at the front of traffic like that, especially not there. They will just come through. and see a friend of mine, I've not seen him in a while. 
bit of a classic bike, uh, well, classic car and stationary engine nut. <laughs> I've not seen him in a while, I think I might pop up and see him. Show him the mean green runner bean. Hey look, it's Super B! Spotted Super B! Have you been have you been abducted? Oh no, you're alright, you've got cake! <laughs> oh I've got to take Super B in this, he'll love that. He will genuinely love that. Super B! He's getting away from me! Twenty mile an hour. Do you know what I say? Fuck your rules. This is Penn Hill. <laughs> this is another ca well council estate, social housing, uh, nest of thieves. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, uh, when they say when you want to live in Swindon, don't live anywhere that starts with a P, which is Penn Hill, Park North, Park South, and Pinehurst. All council estates or um, social housing, um, ghetto. Like if some dumbass white cracker shit's gonna happen, it'll happen out here. Or Pinehurst or Parks. You know, I mean, I'm fucking hell. And I'm not judging because I live in Pinehurst, so. You know, I live in one of the peas. And it is a shithole. My friend has a rather nice Zephyr, which I think you would all like to see. That's if he still owns it. I've not seen him in a while. But like, if, if you've got some old house engine or fucking, he's one of them. He, he knows how to fix that shit. Right. Which way to go? Uh, we'll go this way. Sort of. Oh, biker. That's a parking space, is it? I think I'll go home. I think that's enough footage to put together a vlog. Again, if you've not watched Scarlet Pimpernel, check his channel out. Ah, uh, and ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I li I like him. I think he's funny. I think he's funny. Um, he's taken to vlogging from his van with a helmet on because his bike's off the road. And uh, I just imagine that the local South Wales police fucking love that. Because what my remembrance of the South Wales police is, they have no sense of humour. Um, but yeah, uh, Scarlet Pimpernel. I can't believe Super B got abducted.
Thanks, fucker. Really? You're in that much of a hurry to get in front of me so you could cut me up. Bell end. Uh, just a quick note on swearing. Um, some people have complained. Um, I swear in real life. I mean, I, I believe it. I'm toning it fucking down here, boys and girls. And I'm... If you swear, you swear. I swear in everyday life. I, I kind of forget where I am and I swear in shops, you know. Excuse me, how fucking much is that? Um... I don't really make any apology for it. It's just it's just the way I've always talked. And uh, if you don't like it, go suck a dick. Uh, I'm signing off for now. Take care, people. Be careful. And uh, stay alert out there.